All warfare is based on deception. Hey, welcome back lads, so we are now just a week away from the next major update for Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone, of course I'm talking about the Season 4 Reloaded update, which has come around real fast because, well, remember that Season 4 is an extremely short season. So let's talk about everything we know so far because this update could be a big one for a couple of different reasons, there's going to be new content across the entire game, we're going to get into all of that, but this update could also mark the start of the Modern Warfare 3 or COD 2023 teasers. It could also add the first evidence and stuff of the reveal event that's going to happen in Warzone next month, so yeah, I would say be on the lookout for stuff like that leaking out. I think the Call of Duty 2023 teasers could kick off any day at this point to be honest, but if there is going to be stuff in game like teasers in Warzone that build up to the event, then this upcoming update is when that stuff would be added in and when it would begin. So yeah, another part of that could also be the new Season 4 storyline raid, which is actually going to be the last raid, so it makes sense that that would lead the story directly from Modern Warfare 2 into Modern Warfare 3, or the raid itself could end with like a, a teaser, like a cutscene or something? I don't know. Now the Assault on Vondal event is going to end this week, and then the Reloaded update will give us the second half of the event, and previously these have been DLC camo events, but this one could be a bit different. The Season 4 blog told us that the mid-season update is also going to be the return of the Oculus occupation scan public event. At first I had no idea what that is, and there's also a new quest for Redacted involving Redacted. I think that Redacted quest could be for camos, I don't know, but the occupation scan event was something that was in the OG Warzone last year on Rebirth Island. It's basically like UAV towers, and once activated they like scan and will reveal your position, but you have to prone or lay down to dodge for scan. Kind of kind of weird. I, I don't know how that's an event. It seems more like a feature. I don't know. I didn't play it. And even though the Assault on Vondal event already had two camos as rewards, I hope that we still get the normal camo event. And also Season 4 Reloaded will add in regular Battle Royale to Vondal, because right now it's just Resurgence, right? And also we're going to get the Vondal Waterfront map coming to regular 6 vs 6 multiplayer, and the maps this season have been pretty good so far, but this one features a lot of water by the looks of it, so uh, yeah, I, I hope the streak continues and the map doesn't Suck. And finally, the DLC weapon is a new shotgun, they just say a redacted shotgun, but previously it was leaked that the Teva TS-12 would be coming. It's a semi-automatic shotgun, but man, that thing looks, it's real, but it looks futuristic, doesn't it? What the hell? Uh, but yeah, that should be unlocked by just a simple challenge with shotguns, but that is about that. I think this stuff could be revealed tomorrow, but that's what we know so far, so yeah, I think I'll just leave it off there, so stay spicy, and I'll see you in the next one. One. Cheers. Questions about the intentions of the security force are being answered before our eyes. Enemy soldiers have been seen within the city limits. There is something very wrong in Bundle. At this hour, conflict is breaking out in the streets, waterways, and city centers. We need soldiers on the ground to re-secure the area and prevent the collapse of Bondo. This looks like a war. We need you in it.